Uh, welcome to this uh, set of uh, tutorials on titration calculations. Uh, the level of these is around about A level and it's kind of at the upper end of A level. I've uh, decided to pick out the most difficult titration calculations that you've got, do some work to examples on them and uh, hopefully you'll understand both the concepts and the uh, good methods to use when uh, doing these calculations uh, and also these uh, specific examples which are possible to come up. So the uh, first uh, tutorial of this one will just be an introduction. Then the second one, iron 2 with potassium permanganate, a redox reaction. Number three, uh, I'll do uh, sodium carbonate and hydrochloric acid, acid-base reaction. And number four, uh, potassium dichromate and iodine to so another uh, redox reaction. And then there's also in, in part of that uh, reacting iodine with uh, sodium thiosulfate. So... Uh, when doing these calculations, there's three things I wish I'd like to point out because uh, they're not not necessarily everyone uses them, but I, th I think they're quite helpful. So first of all, the idea of a diagram, and generally when we've got a titration calculation, then uh, we've got a certain amount of substance in uh, the burette, a certain amount of substance in uh, the conical flask. And uh, whilst you know the volumes of both of these, uh, you will generally know the concentration of one of them, but not the concentration of the other. And that's what you're trying to find out. So uh, to do that, it's, it can also be useful to uh, draw up a table uh, in which you have uh, E for equation, R for the ratio. So in this uh, case, uh, these substances are in a ratio of 1 to 5. And that would tell you that, well, if I'm going to use M for amount here, if I can work out the amount of, uh, say, this one, the uh, manganate, to work out the amount of the uh, iron, then I'd just multiply that number by 5. So uh, coming back to the uh, uh, apparatus here, within there I might have a volume, which I know, and a concentration, which I know. Now I can turn that into an amount, uh, kind of using this equation here, I've represented it in a triangle, so amount is equal to concentration multiplied by volume. Note that that volume is in uh, decimeter cubed, so if I have it in cm cubed, then I need to divide by 1000. So I could, uh, from volume times conch, that will give me uh, a known amount, which might be, say, uh, that amount in there. I can multiply by 5, that will give the amount of iron and then going back to here I will now have a volume which I know and uh, an amount and so I can uh, work out the concentration of this by doing concentration is that amount divided by the volume. Okay so uh, next we'll go on to a worked example.